Under the sea. Who's ripping through the tide? Laying hide and seek in the seaweed. Who's catching a wave to adventure every day? Everybody knows when they see that glow, it's rainbow. Give a heart in when you see him come swimming by. Who's slipping out of the school? Ripping into the danger pool. Who's hanging out with his pals in the pool? Fish is coming your way. Everybody knows when they see that glow, it's rainbow. <laughs> rainbow, please. I've asked you not to use my good mother of pearl china. It looked like a bowl to me. Here, you can use this one. Gotta swim. Oh, I've got dance class after school, so I won't be home till late. Bye, honey. Have a good day, dear. That reminds me, I'm having my scales polished this afternoon. But don't worry, Rainbow. I'll be back by the time you get home from school. Who's worried? I'd love to have the whole cave to myself. Of course you would, Rainbow. Your mother just doesn't want you to be lonely. I'll see you after school, dear. <sighs> Whatever. I gotta get going. Children, it may be a little noisy today due to the construction going on in the playground. <laughs> but if we all focus our attention... At... What'd she say? Something about detention! What are you guys saying? I'd like you all to open your textbooks to... Ah! Oh, my! Away from the windows, children! Ah! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Chips. It seems the construction crew made a slight miscalculation. I can't teach under these conditions, Principal Gefilte. I couldn't agree more. Children, class is dismissed for the rest of the day. Hey, maybe your mom will fix us some kelp sandwiches. Is that all you think about, food? No. Sometimes I think about peace for all fish kind, but right now, I'm hungry. Well, my mom's not home anyway. She's getting her scales polished. Cool. Then we can all hang out here till she gets back. Yeah, I can make my own sandwich. I don't mean to be rude, guys, but I've been waiting a long time for this. The house all to myself. No Ruby around. You understand, don't you? Not really. Let me get this straight. You're not inviting me in. Me, your best friend? Tell you what, you can stop by later if you want, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey, see Philly, can I get a sandwich at your house? No, Ruby, no, Mom. Nothing but cartoons and chips. We interrupt this program for a special bulletin. We have just learned of a burglary ring terrorizing the Tri-C area, invading homes, ransacking, and stealing. Residents are advised to be on the lookout and to report any suspicious characters to the police. We now return you to Silly Salmon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm scared. Burglars terrorizing the Tri-C area. Right. Tri-C area? That's my neighborhood! Huh? Oh, must be blue. Just couldn't keep away, could ya? Huh? Uh, hi there, young fish. Uh, we come to fix the uh, water heater. Well, my folks aren't home right now. You don't say. But they'll be back later. I mean soon. 
Uh, you can come back then. Oh, come on, kid. We come all the way out here special just to fix your water heater. We'll be in and out before you know it. Well, I guess it's okay. As long as it doesn't take very... Wait a minute. We don't have a water heater. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll find something to fix. <laughs> yeah. It's not budget. Really? <laughs> I had noticed. We interrupt this program once again. We have just received an eyewitness description of the burglars terrorizing the Tri-Sea area. One is a mean-looking barracuda, his younger accomplice a swordfish. Be advised, these burglars are dangerous. Uh, gee, boss, uh, maybe we ought to find someplace else to rob. What, are you kidding me? This is going to be easy pickings. It's just a wimpy fish all alone. Who are they calling a wimpy fish? I'll show them. Well, looky here. The kid missed one. And fire! Boy, I sure hope they don't try the back doorway. There's no way I could block that. The back doorway. <laughs> ha! Like these seaweed curtains are gonna keep us out. Not seaweed curtains, electric eels. <laughs> Hello? You know those burglars you guys have been looking for? Yeah. Well... <laughs> Is anyone there? Please speak into the... I think you're pretty smart, don't you? I bet I'm a genius compared to the two of you. So maybe you ought to start hitting the books. Take care of this kid. You didn't know I was the top fish on the third grade fencing team, did you? Yeah. Well, this ain't the third grade, is it? Yeah. Uh-oh! Looks like you just flunked out. <laughs> That kid's beginning to bother me. Some whipped kelp cream in the face ought to take care of those. Okay, Sonny, fun time's over. Now tell us where the good stuff is. If you know what's good for you. Uh, okay, sure. The good stuff is right here. Hey, uh, hey boss. We just been robbed. Uh, time to teach that rotten little kid a lesson. Looking for somebody? Get him! Are you guys sure you're not hammerheads? <laughs> now you're getting on my nerves! Sorry, boss. It won't happen again. What did I just tell you? I didn't mean it. Honest. Catch that little fish! <laughs> Looks like 
you're the ones who got caught, huh? Not for long. In here. <laughs> we got that little whip now. Next time, watch who you call a whip. Now what do I do with them? Boy, am I glad to see you guys. But how did you... We traced your 911 call, figured you might be in trouble. But it looks like you've got the situation pretty much under control. Nice work, son. All right, boys, get them out of here. I suspect your folks are gonna be pretty proud of you. Yeah, they sure. No, they won't. If they know that the burglars were here, they won't let me stay home alone again until I'm 50. I'd better get this place cleaned up. So, Rainbow, your mother tells me you were here by yourself when she got home. Yeah, Dad. They sent us home early from school. So how was it, being home all alone? Not bad. A little boring. But at least I had the TV to keep me company. Well, we're very proud of the way you were able to take care of yourself. Mom, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs>